Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Jana and this is another one of my 10 minutes watercolor tutorials I bring you every week. This time we are painting some gentle and elegant daisies using just one color. If you like working with minimalistic color palette, I recommend you my new online art class, Monochromatic Watercolor Painting, where we explore the possibilities and potential of painting with just one color, create a helpful color value chart and paint three monochromatic paintings. This week's 10 minutes tutorial is one of them. Next you can paint foggy pine forest and nostalgic old town silhouette. Check it out, the link is below the video. Now let's start with today's tutorial. I want to paint three flowers and I'm starting with painting the center of it using a very concentrated indigo color. Using tiny brush I draw several small dots creating a circle. It can be a bit uneven. And now all you need is a bigger brush and clean water. I pick some clean water and paint petals. I make the petal connect to the center of the flower and the still wet dark pigment will run into the transparent petal, provide some light color to the petals and create nice gradient effect. I am still using only the water for the petals as I draw and I drag a bit of the pigment from the center to the petals themselves. And to increase the contrast and gradient, now I'm adding more paint into the center and let it run freely into the rest of the flower. Note that I left some tiny spots in the center white. It is a good way to add some contrast and highlight and I'm going to do the same also in the next flower. So again I apply a really rich indigo mix in the shape of circle and few spots in the middle of the circle will remain white and give that nice highlight. Now I clean my brush and using just water I paint some gentle light petals. And when I'm done with them, I add few drops of dark indigo into the center. Now let's create the third flower the same way. Now 
If you think the water in your jar is already too polluted, just change it and continue. Note that I always try to paint the petals close to each other, but not touching. I want the tiny white stripe between them, which will become even more visible once I add the additional pigment. Very nice, now I'm going to use my liner brush and draw few loose stems. The color I'm using is not too dark, but it's still quite contrasting and visible. This stem here is a bit lighter, but it's okay. And now I'm painting the leaves using middle values of indigo. Those are the colors in the middle of the chart. So I'm using more water and drawing some simple leaves. Again, they don't need to be all of the same value. Some of them can be pretty faint, some can be a little bit darker, but overall I don't want them to be too dark. That's because I want to add some texture to them and I want it to be visible. So once the leaves are dry, I take my liner brush again and using dark indigo mix, I draw several short lines representing the veins of the leaves. I'm not going to draw them on every single leaf, but you sure can.
And now as a finishing touch I'm going to spatter some color over the painting and I'm going to use darker mix again because I want the drops to contrast nicely with the light petals of the flowers. Make sure your paint is liquid enough so that you can beat it out of the brush easily. I am very happy with this little artwork, it looks peaceful and elegant, it has enough contrast, enough different color values. You can see that for the center of the flowers we use the darkest values, on the other hand the petals are faint and dreamy. And the leaves provide nice middle values that connect the whole piece together. Of course different color would give the painting different vibe, this one is calm and wintry, but if you paint it red or orange, it can feel more energetic and lively. Guys, let me know how you like this quick watercolor tutorial and make sure to check out the whole class. Thanks for watching!